Barangay Balugan's main source of living and income is from farming and gardening, and so the evident effects of climate change can be seen mostly in the agricultural sector. Let's take a look at this. Number one is drought. The fields dried and cracked because of the drought. Number two is the decrease in the harvest of palais. Duane, nana patit sinan kayo. Datiat simpu isa kung duane ay timpu abes. Mga ay lingedwaet nan apit tay. Pinagtag di dalalo. Yan ang takkan di. Ano ay adik mo. Batawa ay adik mo. Dodododan. Dito. Naman alas na. The emergence of pests and insects. Adito ko ang musan di. Umalian san di. Lumlum di. Ano ba yun? San September ay. Sinuri san di ay. Kadkada na yung orange. Ang color. Pan banyaga, wasan lemlem tu di enam maid. Apud mu, apud nan nan killing kat omisian omalis nan December, which is dapat kat wadis nan last week of October or first week of November. Iguani, adi takut amu musin nan mama nyaris. I had this video this month of June, and the pests and insects already started attacking the plants. The impact of this sudden change of emergence of pests and insects is that the farmers are not able to protect their plants once attacked. Number four is the change of the calendar season. Number eight is number eight is the calendar season. Um, it 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 is. We know I done done in the panaglilum lum. Basta December or January, October, nalamnin. Idwani, numamisan, March, nalamnin. Isan December, munpuos. Knowing the period of the rainy season and the dry season is very important to the farmers. It tells them what variety of plants they should grow in their gardens. There are varieties which are purposely for rainy season and there are for dry season only. Since there was a change of the calendar season, lots of agricultural products do not thrive abundantly. Number five is the weathering of the vegetable crops. Due to the climate change, some of the vegetable crops were suffering from blight. Blight is a disease that makes plants dry up and die. It is marked by the formation of lesions, withering, and death of parts. Aside from the agricultural effects of climate change, there are also other environmental effects that can be observed in the community. The effect of climate change is the massive soil erosion. Last 2018, Typhoon Lawin caused the massive erosion of the mountain. It washed away the agricultural lands in various areas. How can we mitigate this climate change? Nak ikan, nak ikan tak sana emang emang mai mitigate. Ah, nanti ini mintin tak kau nang forest tak kau ya? Mas maslap tak kau ayun ma ma di forest nang. Selang dia ikan emang ikan tak kau emang tumulung senan nampak nang climate change. Di Balugan National High School together with the barangay officials have planted the one hundred number of trees from eucalyptus and the alnos to the uh, national high school vicinity that is one way of mitigating this uh, uh, climate change i think and uh, a lot of plan regarding uh, refrain from uh, 
burning the cellophane, especially this uh, container of insecticides or pesticides. That was the, the uh, sharing of our barangay officials. Farmers also engage in organic farming as one way of mitigating climate change. They use chicken manures, compost, and burnt palai stalks as fertilizers in their gardens and rice fields. Mitigation of climate change can be made possible with the cooperation of everybody. It is our duty and responsibility to protect our environment. If we want change, Discipline should be always in our vocabulary. Every one of us has his or her own role in this ever-changing world. If we do not act today, imagine how our children will suffer the consequences of our decisions. Let us act now for our children, for our grandchildren, and for the future.